Who puts an apartment in the middle of the miscellaneous podcast studio? The miscellaneous, the miscellaneous podcast, podcast new apartment. New apartment. Come on in. Check it out. What a great place. A lot of wood paneling. You two look so handsome. Thank you. We read it in a book, How to Be the Best Host. Number one, dress to impress. Number two, avoid touchy conversations that will give you weird stares. Number three, scented candles. Ooh. Ooh. And a lot of them. Yeah, the bathroom smells sometimes. And we ordered pizza. Ooh. <laughs> Better be good pizza. <laughs> Didn't have time to cook with Chappie holding up in the kitchen. Finally, you sorry sacks show up. Chappie has been here since three o'clock. Time flies when you're drinking. No, it does not. Let me give you the grand tour. Bathroom, kitchen, who cares? But this, this is my scale model of the Halloween Slasher Story campsite with all the little details, including me, where I died at in chapter three. Oh, wow. Great. And why did you build this? My favorite bathroom used to be here. Still is. It definitely was the centerpiece to build around. Check this out. Serbian rum. So strong it's banned there. Banned in Serbia. Let that concept sink in. <laughs> well, you all enjoy. I have to leave early. Oh? Yeah, sorry. I got an invite to an opening of a new club. Look at this place. It's like it was designed just for me. It was. I made it in Photoshop and mailed it to you a month ago, so you'd keep tonight open. So there's no such thing as single malt platinum boobs and billiards clubs is what you're telling me. Oh, I guess I never said it out loud like that before. But tonight we offer something far more better than boobs and billiards. d d Miscellaneous podcast style. All right, now we're passing out pre-filled character sheets. We made your characters based on how we see you. Oh, I'm a sorceress. Why am I not surprised? I'm a warrior. South Paul Jedi, baby. Ah, oh, I'm a thief. At least you can pickpocket people. Oh, cool. I'm good then. Watch the frog. Can I just sit here and drink? I really don't want to play. Oh, what? The boys are just too cool to play? No, no, here. I'm sitting down. I'm cooler than him. What do you have for me? What's a game master, compere? Oh, you make up quick informationals. You know, little lines to say to the players as they play. Two minute pee break? Well, I mean, we wrote them down for you. Two minute pee break, everyone. Okay, I don't know how to play D&D with a six sided dice. Pizza's here. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Uh, yeah. All right, starting from my left, when your number comes up, you go. Just so you know, Paul, you are creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Travis. Okay, one, two, three. Kira. Okay, but I'll need some money. Oh my uh, god. Kira is okay. literally the worst. No. Fine. Bathroom? Around Around the the corner. corner. Use errands. What does an ovulation test look like? Like a pregnancy test? Yeah, then this is a gun. (laughs) What? And Kira's purse. Okay. Where the hell does she live? Give me some of that Serbian stuff. Bathroom? Round the corner. Don't use errands. Don't go in there for about 35, 45 minutes. I gotta go now. Well, unlike these bums, I got y'all an apartment warming gift. Here, open it. What is this? It's a troll to ward off evil spirits. Got from my many travels to foreign distant lands. So we don't... uh... Feed it after midnight and get it wet. Don't leave it in direct sunlight. Is that what we do? Wait, what? You never went anywhere. Whatever. Shows you how much you know. Tool. 
Yeah, I'm the fucking tool. I'm pretty sure you bought this foreign-landed creepy doll from the closest drive through fucking liquor store with this shitty alcohol. What were you doing in there? What? Rude, you don't ask someone that. A weird smell in there. What were you doing? I don't need to explain myself to you. Move. Ooh, pizza's here. Me want pizza in my belly. That pizza guy was really weird. You mean like every pizza guy? Did he have a porn stash? Ew, no, he tried to me up though. Ooh. Did you tip him by letting him give you the tip? No, I just don't tip for bringing me pizza. Besides, we didn't have enough money. Cupcake did something in the bathroom. Matt! It smells funny. No, I didn't. Does it smell like poop? Because it's probably a poop from a boy. I'm not doing this. Kara, why do you have a gun in your purse? What? We were all thinking it. It's a How long story. I'm going to play this game with this die. Who are you, Aaron, to tell me where I have or haven't been? Oh, did you get stung, nor can't? I still want to know what the hell you were doing in there. Why are you so freaking nosy? Well, this is happening again. This Serb shit sucks. Give me my makers. Hey, where's my tip? Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody oh, got no, 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 shit. Oh, oh, oh Chappy. No, 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 Lightweight, Jesus. What the hell? Not it. Not it. Not it. Uh, yeah. All right, starting from my left, when your number comes up, you go. Wait, what, dude? Wow. You caught that dice mid-air. What the fuck are you doing? Man, don't fake the dice. Of course you would be the one to touch it. You touch everything. <laughs> we shouldn't roll the die. The universe is an endless sea of randomness. Our job is not to fight it, but to weather it on the big raft of life which is made up of those rare and beautiful things we know as being predictable. Doesn't matter what happens to us as long as we stay honest and accepting of each other's flaws and virtues. Take Matt, for example. He will always be a Star Wars fan. Aaron will always be asking if he can have it. b will always be apologizing to Gates McFadden. Norka will always be that PA announcer guy. And Kira, hmm, I don't really know you, so you're sort of a wild card from my perspective. Oh, and Polly will forever remain a conniving son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 Travis. Why will I always be the PA announcer? Hey, man, I didn't ask if I could have it, okay? I just asked if I could have your old one. Gates McFadden is my queen. There's six sides to this die, and he used the sounder for the first, which means he didn't have to make an episode of his own. What the fuck did you just say? I would expect nothing less from him. Oh, man. Dude, not cool. Me and Matt had to break into a radio station. Oh, my God, Polly, You made me do research on red pancakes. You know, this all wouldn't have happened if Travis would have shown up for the show. <laughs>